Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm just doing my nails, so I figured I'd do a little chit chat video. Um, I don't know. It might this video might be edited too, but <laughs> you know I gotta. I don't know what I'm gonna be chit chatting about. Okay. So also my hair look like this because it's not fully finished. So you might see a few like stragglies hanging down. By the way, how I do my hair? Because some people are curious, like, um, what what I do to my hair. So basically, it's a crochet um, crochet set, crochet twist using i don't even know if i want to say this because i really love these twists and i want them to increase in price and i don't see a lot of people wearing these but um they're called samba twist um and you can you can probably you can find them all over online i think so i'm not gonna say where i get it from you know gotta gatekeep gatekeep the twist <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so these are Samba twists. What I do is I do individual, I like braid it at the root, like my real hair at the root. You know, of course you wanna, whenever you do new crochet set, you wanna, you know, make sure your hair is washed, uh, conditioned, make sure it's moisturized. Cause this is really a good protective style. Like my hair has grown thicker since i started doing this um but there has been time because i've been doing i had this hairstyle been doing this hairstyle for a long time um but there's been times where when i first was like um you know using this using these twists and everything as well as doing some other styles like i wasn't like taking them out soon enough so um, now I do more frequent washes in between because this is really easy. It takes less than, um, less than a few hours to do to actually install these, uh, twists. And so they come prepared like this. And what I do, I individually, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, like part my hair. Then what I do is I will twist. So I might have an example. Yeah, this one not finished. So what I'll do is I'll braid it down to like right here or so for each individual one and then I'll twist the rest. That way it's still like secure at the root so it won't slip. But then the rest of my hair is not in no tight braid that, you know, I know this cause I have like very, um, I have fine hair. Uh, I just noticed that it doesn't do too well when it's braided in this type of style. Um, so I like, you know, twisting it all the way down and that way, and it's largely because, uh, because the way I, you know, used to take my hair down when it was in braids, um, I just noticed there's a lot less buildup when there's, when it's in twist. Um, and that way, you know, if I make a mistake, I might put too much oil or too much moisturizer or something, it's too much whatever product while I'm um, preparing my hair. Um, that way it's not too big of a issue in the long run, if that makes sense. Like there's less buildup in the twist versus when I have the whole entire section braided. So that's that. Um, yeah, so I braid each individual one, braid and twist each individual one, and then um, I crochet each individual twist into it. Um, and you can find this method online. That's, you know, I got it on YouTube, so. <laughs> Cause I tried to do that whole like, okay, let's do like cornrows and stuff like that, but it don't look natural. And to be honest, uh, I feel like it was pulling at my hair more than when I have it individually and it was making it like more knotty and stuff. I don't know. I don't like the whole cornrow thing. I like it individual. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. It works for me. My hair, um, my hair, you know, recovered from all the mistakes of the past. <laughs> I mean, not fully recovered. Like I used to have like really long, thick hair, but the issue is, um, 
once I started getting into like trying to do like more unique styles or whatever, because my hair is fine, um, it just didn't do well. So either it's going to be something like this, individual crochets, that way I can, you know, take care of it. And then let's say um, I want to redo some sections. It's easy. I don't have to take down my whole head to do that or to like wait one section of my hair just to like you know wash like because the thing about this is like you can um take down like there's been times where it's like okay this whole side of my head or whatever um i might want to redo before an event or something like that um just because you know i sleep on one side i don't know it could be for multiple things like my hair got really wet on one side whatever um and so I might want to redo that way I don't have to take like a whole cornrow set down I can just like take out you know four or five of these wash it or um you know comb out whatever product might be building up and then I can redo it and it's simple like that and I do that um usually if I had these in for like uh, a week or so um usually like a week and then um, that's usually when I'll start thinking about redoing some of the twists, particularly in the front, if I'm going to like an event or something, but normally it's fine. Um, people don't really notice. It's supposed to look natural, so it's not, I don't want it to look too cookie cutter, or, you know, clean. That's not really my style in general when it comes to hair. I don't like the slick, the slick back, neat look. It looks amazing on other people. It's just not um, my personal style. You know, I'm also like an environmental, an environmental scientist, and you know, I be in the woods and stuff like that. I be in the stream. It don't make sense for me to be out there in the slick back ponytail. You know, like I want to look of like as you know natural as possible. And then with my real hair um i like to do the uh the wraps the head wraps um to protect my hair um because again it is fine hair so i just can't do a lot of manipulation with it um at least not a lot um a lot meaning i can't do a lot of uh styles that would require a lot of product and manipulation like my scalp can't take it i'm very irritated so even these twists like i i mean technically you should be cleaning your twist or your hair like any synthetic or in my opinion any human hair that you purchase online definitely want to clean it before you use it but some people don't and they're completely fine with that my scalp would be very irritated like <laughs> And because, uh, you know, a lot of this hair has like flame retardants in it or fire retardants, um, things like that, other chemicals during the production of these. And that's even for some of the, um, the natural, uh, like the human hair, but also the, um, uh, some of the plant-based hair, they will still have like some of the chemicals from the dyes. And we could say all day like okay it's natural blah, blah blah at the end of the day some of it like you know it can irritate people like it's not a 100 percent chemical free process um or else the hair wouldn't be dyed <laughs> so um but also then the strands wouldn't be as tough like <laughs> so we do have to think about that um so yeah and i'm very my skin is very sensitive unfortunately like I have to be super careful. And with that said, I switched to Hello. No, I switched to Tom's Fluoride Free. Um, Tom's Fluoride Free uh, toothpaste. I do not like it. I like Hello way better. Okay, let me see. Um, I just had to throw that in there because I'll just it's day two of using Tom's fluoride free um, I think it's unflavored or Unscented whatever you want to call it Toothpaste and it's like mm, it definitely does the job. 
I have a green light on, so my tea it's not gonna show for sure. But it's, it does the job, like, but I'm just saying, it doesn't have any um to it. Like, I like the whole minty, the whole minty fresh, but also like, um, it's just very bacon, baking soda-y type <laughs> for the, un, the unflavored. Um, let me see what type of nails. I got so many, like, fake nail, like, I got this kind. I got this kind. I got <laughs> this kind. I don't know why. Luckily, I got some nail glue in bulk from like years ago. Um, I got these little Christmas um, nail things. That's so cute. I got these um, last year. And yeah. They're very cute, but I don't think I have enough for a full set. And it's not Christmas yet, so I might save these for Christmas. Um, I guess, yeah, I don't think they're, the. I'm missing the thumbs. So I might, um, if I use these, I'll definitely color the thumbs with like red or something like that. And then I got these. <laughs> I got a lot of like, I do got these, so I don't know, I might try that. Oh my, okay, so I got this, and some of these have expiration dates on it. Let me see if this one, it probably does. Um, oh no, this is good, I don't see an expiration date. So I was looking, I ran out of foot mask last night and I like was like well I wanted to get myself a pedicure but I guess not but um I like to do the foot mask before I continue with like a full well my version of a full pedicure that way you know you're not you know you're not um you getting all the stuff that's not supposed to be there off your foot as soon as possible um so i mean not as soon as you know what i mean like you're getting all the stuff off that way when you do the pedicure is less is less work i feel like these are like way more um way better so well hold on let me double check this because i don't think this is the foot peel um, let me see. Clean feet when clean feet and put on socks. Leave. Uh, uh, mm, prepare nails. Apply color. Oh, this is just a collagen treatment. I thought this was the foot peel. Mm, massage. Mm, yeah, this is just the a collagen thing. I'm gonna still use it though. But I might get the feet peel or the the foot peels um, and then use this because I think this would be a really good thing for this type of stuff as well as, you know, the nails and just little things here and there. I do like to go to stores like TJ Maxx, um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They have like discounted stuff cute little stuff like this also um of course fab below but um surprisingly or not surprisingly um burlington coat factory because you know they changed up their whole thing um burlington coat factory has like a little section but it's like you gotta sort through it and all this other stuff so i don't know it's not my first choice but i do like to go to you know TJ Maxx first and everything. Let me see. All right. So, I got some glue in here. But yeah, so, let me see what else I want to talk about. Um,. So I will be doing 
very soon another DJ mix um what else I know it's been a while since I did a DJ mix um, but I've definitely been thinking about it <laughs> like I've been like um, slowly but surely like updating the mix and everything like the song selection where I want to transition the songs Oh my god, my glasses were probably crooked this whole time. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, where I want to transition the songs, and, you know, sometimes you're just finding the right songs for the theme that you're going for. And my DJ mixes will be more themed in the future, meaning, like, okay, themed as in um, a DJ mix for, like, when you're out of space traveling to another galaxy or something what music would you listen to that sort of stuff so y'all know uh, some of y'all know I'm weird like that but I was watching this thing about RH negative blood and like you know I love the history channel um uh especially the ancient aliens because you know I'm pretty sure I'm an alien and they were like yeah, people with RH negative blood are most likely aliens. So I was like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> I was just like, I kind of knew that. I've been um, researching RH negative blood for a while. So <laughs> but I love like stumbling upon an um, ancient aliens clip on YouTube. And then um, saying that something that relates to me is... Uh, <laughs> means I'm an alien <laughs> which by the way I wish like see it's so annoying like they had ancient aliens had a tour I don't know if they're having another one or not but yeah like I was like I want to go somebody buy me tickets but ain't nobody like me like that enough <laughs> Like, dang. Some people, like, it's kind of interesting. Like, I feel like most people, you know, they want a gift from, like, they man or something. And they're like, um, you know, I want flowers, uh, you know, dinner, all this other stuff. And it's like, that's cool. I still want that. But I want to go to like ancient sites that might have aliens or like take me to that place in Washington that has like the compounds with like the floating um, mysterious like <laughs> mysterious things in the sky or that might have been it's either Washington or Utah it has like these random floating objects take me to like some alien spaceship viewing site like in the mountains in the middle of nowhere so I can just sit outside and stare at the sky and hope I see something or you know take me on take me to Egypt and get me in contact with somebody that can you know help me study the pyramids to see how um, advanced they were like not advanced in the way that we think but like advanced advanced like are we living in a cyclical um a cyclical world meaning that the ancient egyptians had everything that we had right now and more of course um because they were more advanced and then yeah take me to like meet somebody who can help me study these type of things like <laughs> like that type of stuff um that's that is what I want as a gift not you know a purse or something um <laughs> granted I think what I want is probably a little bit more expensive uh but you know <laughs> So yeah, I think, let me see what type of, let me see what these are, what these are looking like. I also got some other nails. I got them in, um, 
Where did I get them? I got them in Toronto at like the dollar store. Wait, no, I got them in Brooklyn in the dollar store and like they didn't even come with glue in it. And I was like, I didn't bring glue with me. But, you know, I was too lazy to go back and get some glue. But also I don't like to, I don't like to enable like bad, uh, at least not intentionally. <laughs> Cause in that moment I kind of am, but I didn't like to, uh, I don't like to intentionally enable, uh, decisions, uh, by companies to produce things that they know you would have to buy something else in order to actually use the product. So I was like, nah, I know I got glue at home. I'm just wait till I get home. Ooh, these are cute. They're like... Little, they're clear but um let me see I don't know what I want to do with these I mean I guess I could do like a cute little you know thin coat or whatever I don't think these are a line of cuticle I don't know. I think I might go for just the basic white nails because the thing is, like, for me in particular, um, because I work in the lab and stuff like that, my nails be getting dirty, and these are just too clear, too clear for me. Um, and the type of research I do is more, um, it's like sediment and like sediment yeah <laughs> and also uh i'm a company like food waste <laughs> so i need something to hide all of that um these i might as well throw away it's not enough so i will use let me see these french these uh, french overlap nails Um, I always like to read the instructions even though I pretty much know what to do. Alright. Right, I just gotta read the instructions. This is annoying. So yeah, um, another thing, I will, I'll probably do an updated tarot reading also. I love doing tarot readings. I don't like it enough to like have it consume or like waste my energy. But, you know, every once in a while I like to do a tarot reading. So, I'm going to do that. Um, I'll probably do one related to my favorite planet to work with, which is Saturn. Um, just get some messages from Saturn. Uh, I've been connecting even more. So before my favorite planet to work with being Saturn was more in sort of in terms of my actions and doing because Saturn is a very restricting planet. It's all about, you know, restrictions, uh, rules, things like that. And I sort of like, um, I feel like a lot of times in my life in particular, like, it's always these rules and restrictions that stop me from doing what I truly want to do. But I also um, am lucky enough uh, to be able to work with Saturn by sort of trying to understand how do I circumvent these bureaucratic, like the red tape and all this other stuff to actually be able to achieve what I want to achieve now. When I say that, I don't mean like in an illegal way. I mean in a way to which allows me to be more productive. And that's the issue like as a Virgo is wanting to be as productive as possible. But because there's always this red tape, uh, you know, people blindly following rules that don't make sense, which I'm currently going through now um, <laughs> with an institution. <laughs> and... Uh, like and the reason 
the reason I think like, um, you know how when you get the runaround from people like, um, oh, you should do, you should talk to this person and that person is like, no, you should talk to that person that just told you to talk to me or, um, you know, they tell you to do something, um, but it doesn't turn out to be like, they tell you to do something that makes sense, um, for you to do very little work, very little effort involved. But then, and meanwhile, you're giving them all the information, you're doing everything that makes sense. And because it makes so much sense, um, they forgot to tell you one little detail that is unnecessary, but required, like <laughs> that type of stuff is like, people know this stuff does not make sense, yet it's going along with it. And so, um, but depending on what position you're in, you're kind of just um, relegated to whatever the system says and you can't like do anything or else you're not like, you know, you're not gonna get the outcome that you need at that moment. And so um, that's always an issue. I think many people can relate to that, especially if you work if any institution or corporation or something like that, like we've all been there, but that doesn't make it right. And so I hate when people are like, oh, this is, um, you know, when you're pointing out something that doesn't make sense, it's like, oh, you know, this is something all, all places have to go through. It's like, that is, that doesn't matter. Like that, like, that is irrelevant to creating change is like that makes it even worse that more people have to go through a lot of these unnecessary bureaucracies in their work culture to get something achieved um like that makes it just even worse and we and some of us who don't have the power, like literally do not have the power, meaning like we're not in the back end doing anything or being in the rooms where decisions are being made. We're like always um, sort of deciding um, what, which battle <laughs> is worth fighting. And um, yeah, that's, that's always an issue. Um, but somehow, you know, people people like the status quo, which is why I do believe in NPCs, so non-playable characters in real life, though. <laughs> because there's some people that don't say anything about anything. They just blindly go along with everything. And of course, it makes their life easier. But if life is easy then you're not changing you're not progressing or growing so you've got to put up a fight about something in this matrix there is nothing in this matrix that is not worth putting a fight up against um that is a good topic and i might save that for a separate video or i might just uh splice this out and do that uh do a sep like make it into a separate video